You know, sometimes I just can't help myself. Hi everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Today we're going to have a quick look at black powder muzzle loaders. Even though muzzle loaders date back more than a couple hundred years, they are still in use today and people still shoot and even hunt with them. There's definitely a much slower pace to this sport than normal firearms as you have to clean the gun each time, measure out the powder, put a patch on there which is just a piece of cloth, put the round in there which is actually a ball in this case, a 50 caliber ball, and then you trim off the excess patch and then tamp it down partially just to get it started and then ramrod it all the way down to the bottom. And then finally, in the case of this rifle, a percussion cap is put on the nipple of the gun. Yes, it has nipple. And then the gun is ready to fire. Now, a black powder rifle definitely makes a huge cloud of white smoke when it's fired, unlike a firearm that uses smokeless powder. And of course that just makes it a lot more difficult to really capture the rounds in flight with my cameras. Now I don't know what the deal is but flies sure like being in YouTube videos, especially my videos. Now next up we've got a flintlock. This is something that uh, Daniel Boone would have shot. Now it's loaded just like the percussion capped rifles, but in this case, uh, a small amount of powder is added to a little pan there, and instead of having a percussion cap, it has a flint that actually creates a spark. Did you feel a big delay? No. Now unlike the percussion cap rifle, this one has a noticeable delay in slow motion from the time the hammer drops, the powder in the pan ignites, and then finally the main charge ignites. The owner of the gun was kind enough to let me shoot it, and I felt absolutely no delay at all. Thank you, and bye-bye.